It's like they had a strong open, but in no time you had them playing your game instead of their game. How did you do that? Well, they came out hot, and um, you know we were able to withstand that. And then um, we didn't get a lot of pressure like the first 10 minutes. We looked a little bit measured, and um, we would put pucks in, and they were doing a really good job reversing pucks and then making stretch passes. Um, the good news is they, they got a couple chances in that in that first 10 minutes where they controlled the play, and then we kind of came back. I think when we got those chances at the end of the first period, we felt a little bit more conf confident about our ability to generate some offensive pressure. So uh, I think when that happens, a bit of a chess match in terms of the line matchups. And um, I think our guys were on their toes and were aware of what we were uh, up against from line to line. I'm not really a big line matchup guy, but the way the game settled in, um, you know, I just try to keep it consistent. Was a lot of it just the speed and, you know, see Zegers tonight? And the Toronto got behind Arvidsson. I sorry, I didn't hear the last. Piece. I said, was the Toronto got behind Arvidsson for his goal? And it was just the speed, or I just getting to the other. I remember their first goal. To be honest with you. Yeah. What was your first goal? They, they were trying to come out of the zone, and yeah. Strom stole the puck, kept it in, and then uh, Gooders made the pass to the Toronto in front. Yeah. Like jammed it off his pad. Oh, our first goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, there was a broken assignment there. Yeah. And um, and obviously, we got three high, and Stromi almost got in the way, but uh, we're fortunate that our defenseman threw it down there. But, that was, but there was a couple of chances. Nestoranko had a, had a wrap round and an opportunity as well. But um, I mean, it's just a good hockey game. I actually became a spectator for, <laughs> for part of it after I was matching the Lions because it was just it was fun to watch. You talked about uh, Alice Golan last night. Game. Post knee surgery in the second half, yeah. we, we, we're seeing what the we're yeah. seeing what the, the, the yeah. Alex Corn Florin that he's been in this league. Yeah, he's got more jump. Um, he's more physical. I think he's protecting pucks better. I think there's probably a little bit of apprehension in terms of dealing with pressure on his back when he's got a kind of a rusty knee, but he's gotten through that. Um, he's a, more of a leader. He's become more vocal. Um, and him and Leo have some chemistry. I think Leo looks up to him, and you know why wouldn't you? He's got two Stanley Cups. I think he's, he reinforces like what, what what the right play is at the right time in the game. You just mentioned that it was really inspiring to see your team play tonight. How yeah. was to see everybody just working together well? Yeah, and like um, you know, we have a we have kind of a mantra in our practice facility about the, you know extraordinary effort. And, um, you know, we play hot all the time. And, you know, we, we're a tough team to play against. I think we flirted with that throughout the year. I don't want to make excuses, but there's been a lot of changes in the lineup. The consistency hasn't been there. On the last couple of games, we've had the same lineup, which was nice. And you could see the chemistry that was there tonight in last or last game as well. So I'm happy for them. They deserve, they deserve to win more games than we won this year. And uh, like I said, uh, after the um, St. Louis game, this would be a game that had a little bit more uh, fabric to it in terms of like the, the battle level and intensity. And uh, I thought all of our guys uh, did a good job creating visibility for themselves. Kings, Kings could have clinched the playoff spot tonight. Did you get a sense at all from your group that uh, they didn't want to be done on their watch? No, I never brought it up. I didn't even know, to tell you the truth. I'm just more worried about our guys. Killer was saying he thought that uh, Zegers has played a little better every game since he's been back. I mean, we know he's not a guy who lacks confidence, but do you see him kind of getting his legs under and putting it more into play uh, with, with each passing game? Yeah, I mean, I, I, Trevor and I have talked about this a lot, about the standards and that he can play to a higher standard than most guys can offensively and that when he competes away from the puck, he just brings his game to a higher level. And I think it's, uh, for me, it's inspiring for his teammates to see it. Like he came back really hot tonight in a back check and shut down a play. And now uh, those are those things that he does, you know, uh, like when he does things naturally well offensively, it, it, I think it gives guys confidence. Then when he does the same thing, he puts the same investment in defensively. I think it becomes, for him, he becomes a role model. And that's really, that's what our goal is with him is to get him to be a three zone player. And I thought tonight he was terrific. When you get in a game like this with the fans on both sides are going crazy out there, does that lift the players a lot and help them? Yeah, I get tired. I was thinking about walking off the bench in the uh, second period. Like, and I, I coached the Islanders for whatever the heck it was, how many years, and the Ranger Islander <laughs> game. So, like, that was a pretty high intensity, you know, battle. And, um, you know, the, the Kings fans here, they, they, you know, there's a big contingency in the building. So, I can't hear what they're saying back and forth, but it's got a little bit of that soccer match. 
uh, you know, mentality going back and forth with the crowd. But it's fun. It's a fun game to coach in. I said I 